I'm a truck bed installer at Pine Hill. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the mirror bars on a GMC. These are the parts that come in your kit. You have your mirror bar, your straight extension, and then your curved extension. You should have two hood mounts, two spacers to go with the hood mounts, two of these brackets, 5 16 by 1 bolt, 3 8 by 2 and a half bolt, a 5 16 T bolt, and a half inch T bolt. These are the tools that you're going to need a 3 8 impact, a 10 millimeter socket, a 13 millimeter socket, a 9 16 wrench. a half inch wrench, a tape measure, and a pair of scissors. Additional parts that are sold separately are spot mirrors and this protective rubber that you can put on your hood mounts. The first step is you want to open your hood. For the next step, if you chose the option to put on the protective rubber, you want to hold it up here to the hood mount to get your length then mark it and then just take your scissors and cut. Now you want to take the rubber, take the sticky side and place it down in this corner. Press it in there nice and tight. Now you want to put the other one on this one. Put the sticky stuff in the corner. Press it in there nice and tight. The next step, you want to remove the nuts that hold your hood to the hinge. For that, I'm going to use my 3 8 impact and my 13 millimeter socket. Next step, you need your hood mount and the rear space that goes with your hood mount. For the GMCs, the way you can tell the side is you want this post to the back and the larger distance away from the post toward the front of the truck. Now you want to take your hood, pick it up and drop your hinge down out of your way Then grab your hood mount and you want to put it on the front stud and then grab your back spacer, put it over the bottom hole in the hinge and bring it up to your hood. Now that you have those in place, you want to bring your nuts and reinstall them on the stud. Now you're going to tighten the nuts, so you want to use your 3 8 impact and 13 millimeter socket. But before you tighten, you want to take this hood mount and press it against the hood as tight as you can. And when you're tightening these, be careful not to strip the studs. Now the process we just did on that side, we're gonna do on this side. And again, to know that this is the driver's side, this post goes toward the back, and then this longer distance goes towards the front of the truck. And now using the 3 8 impact and 13 millimeter again, we're gonna take these nuts off and pull the hinge down from the hood. Now we're going to install the hood mount and the rear spacer and then reinstall the nuts. Now we're going to tighten the nut with our impact in 13 millimeter. Again, you want to press this hood mount against the hood and be careful not to strip your studs.
Now for the next step, you need the impact and the 10 millimeter socket. We're going to loosen these two bolts on the fender and try to pull the fender out to give us space between this bracket and the fender. I want to pull this fender out and retighten the bolt. Now we're going to come to the passenger side and do the same thing. These two bolts right here. And pull your fender out. Tighten them back up. Now for the next step, you want to close your hood and close it slowly. You want to watch down the side, both sides uh, of the fender and make sure that it's not going to hit your fender. Next, we're going to install these brackets on a mirror bar. And for GMCs, you can just take your bracket and make it flush on the outside of the bar. Then you want to take two of your 5 16 bolts with the lock knots on them and just hand tight put those on the bracket. Come to the other side and again just make it flush with the outside. Install your bolts. Now we're going to install the mirror bar on the hood mounts. And to do that safely without scratching your hood, you just want to drop this bracket over the hood mount and walk the bar around the front of your truck and drop this side over the hood. Now for this next step, you need your half inch wrench. And again, you just want to make sure that this bracket stayed flush with your mirror bar. Then you can tighten these 5 16 bolts. And now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Now you're going to need your T-bolts. The smaller T-bolt goes into this bracket to tighten the mirror bar down to the hood mount. You want to run that one tight. And you want to take your bigger T-bolt and put it in this nut up here as welded to your mirror bar and just put that one in a couple turns. Now we're going to do the same thing to this side. Small T-bolt on the track to the hood mount. Run that one tight. And the big T-bolt up top, just a couple turns. Now we're going to put the mirror bar extensions in. This is the driver's side, the straight. You just want to make sure that these holes are up and down and not side to side. And you just slide this in your mirror bar about there, and then you can tighten the big T-bolt down. Now we're going to do the passenger side, and this is the angled extension, and you want the angle part pointing toward the front of the truck, and just slide it in to there, and then tighten the big T-bolt. The next step, you need your mirror, 9 16 wrench, and a 3 8 by 2 and a half bolt. First thing you want to do is take the bolt that came with the mirror out of it and set that to the side. We're going to replace that with our longer bolt. Then we're going to come over here to our mirror bars and put your nylon washer and your regular washer on top of the bar. Then bring your bolt up through the bar and fasten your mirror. Now that you have your mirror on, position it how you would like, and then tighten the bolt. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Place your washers on top. Remember to use your longer bolt. Put it up through, into the mirror. Now position the mirror how you'd like, and tighten the bolt. 
We've now successfully installed the mirror bars. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for our next video.